Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan is running to be Chancellor of Oxford University. He's running this historic campaign from jail where he's arbitrarily arrested by the fascist Pakistani regime which he continues to fight. In this video, we'll share about Imran Khan's story and his work which make him the perfect candidate for this role. Imran Khan studied politics, philosophy and economics at the University of Oxford's Keeble College and captained the university's cricket team before graduating in 1975. He went on to become the captain of Pakistan's national cricket team and one of cricket's greatest all-round players. Pakistan even won its first Cricket World Cup in 1992. After retiring from cricket, Imran Khan dedicated his time to philanthropy and was especially committed to making quality healthcare available to all, regardless of financial status. This passion stemmed from his experience of losing his mother after her long battle with cancer, which he witnessed very closely. He began fundraising to build a cancer hospital in Pakistan in her memory, which would give free treatment to the poor, and the first Shokat Khanna Memorial Cancer Hospital and Research Center opened its doors in Lahore in 1994. The second Shokat Khanna Cancer Hospital opened in Peshawar in 2015, and a third hospital in Karachi has almost been completed. Shokat Khanna hospitals still provide internationally acclaimed quality care to their patients, and 75% of patients benefit from free cancer care each year. In addition to focusing on health care, Khan also dedicated his time to improving educational access in Pakistan, particularly through Namal Knowledge City, inspired by Imran Khan's time at Oxford, during which he saw the power that knowledge cities have in contributing to a country's economic prosperity, technological breakthroughs, and cultural and social welfare. Namal Knowledge City, located in the remote Miawali district of Pakistan, began through the establishment of Namal College in 2008 with a vision to empower Pakistan's youth and make education more accessible to youth from remote regions of the country. It was initially established as an affiliate college of the University of Bradford in the UK, which Khan served as the Chancellor of, but was granted degree awarding status in 2019 and became Namal Institute. Imran Khan's dream to build an educational institute then evolved into establishing the largest university town in Pakistan, Namal Knowledge City. Since its founding, Namal has provided quality higher education to its students and provided many with full academic scholarships to break down the barriers to accessing education. The larger vision for the Knowledge City as a whole is an effort to improve Pakistan for generations to come and reaffirm Imran Khan's commitment to social good, education, and youth empowerment. Alongside his philanthropic efforts, Imran Khan began his political career in an effort to hold corrupt leaders in the country accountable and bring justice, welfare, and freedom to Pakistanis. This is why he launched his political party, the Pakistan Tehreek Saf. His political journey, which has garnered the support of millions of Pakistanis, has been met with extreme repression by the country's ruling elite and corrupt political and military leaders. During the time that him and his party were elected at the provincial level in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province from 2014 and the national level in 2018, Khan established various initiatives prioritizing the welfare and future of Pakistan, such as the Sehat Card program, Pakistan's first comprehensive health coverage program, which was first rolled out in KPK and then expanded to the rest of the country and provided hundreds of thousands of people with health coverage. Khan also launched the Billion Tree Tsunami Campaign, which was meant to improve Pakistan's environmental future and through which Khan and his government created green jobs and led the plantation of 1 billion trees in Pakistan, which then expanded to a goal of planting 10 billion trees in the country. During his tenure as Prime Minister, he also launched the Estas program, a social safety net and poverty alleviation program, which included income support, shelter homes, scholarships, food and emergency cash assistance during the COVID-19 pandemic, and much more. In 2022, Khan's government was unjustly ousted from power, and a fascist crackdown of Khan, his party, and his supporters, who launched a movement for Pakistan's democracy and freedom, began. Pakistan's corrupt political and military leaders, who felt threatened by Khan's calls for fairness, democracy, and accountability of all institutions, shut down the internet, censored television channels, and even removed Khan's name and photos from the media, regularly abducted and imprisoned Khan's supporters and party leadership, violently suppressed their protests, and even killed protesters who demanded free and fair elections. Imran Khan himself was arbitrarily arrested, first on May 9th, 2023, by paramilitary forces from court premises, which was deemed unlawful and prompted his release in a few days, and then on August 5th, 2023, after an unfair trial in which Khan's legal team was not even allowed to present any witnesses. In fact, since his ouster, nearly 200 bogus cases have been launched against Khan, and over the past year, he has been convicted and then acquitted, and then continuously kept in jail under one case after another, including a case which deemed his marriage unlawful. The UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention released an in-depth opinion highlighting the crackdown on Khan, his political party, and their supporters, and concluded that Khan's ongoing imprisonment is a violation of international law. When Pakistanis tried to defend their democracy in Khan's absence, during 
during elections in February 2024, they were met with widespread rigging before, during, and after the elections were held. Candidates trying to run from Khan's party were abducted, ballot boxes were stolen and destroyed in broad daylight, and eyewitnesses and video footage revealed this rigging throughout election day. Despite all this rigging, original Form 45 documents from polling stations revealed that candidates supporting Khan won a two-thirds majority in the National Assembly. However, in the weeks following the election, the people's mandate was stolen and the 180 seats that Khan's candidates won were reduced to less than 100 and Shabazz Sharif, whose party won 17 seats, came into power. In response, Imran Khan and Pakistanis across the country and the world are refusing to back down and are continuing their advocacy efforts to ensure that the people's mandate is respected and all political prisoners, including Khan, are released in order to protect rule of law and democracy in Pakistan. In conclusion, the nearly 50 years that Imran Khan has spent in the public eye since graduating from Oxford in 1975 have been dedicated to sportsmanship, philanthropy, and social justice. Khan's status as a widely respected sportsman, philanthropist, and leader in Pakistan and across the world, who is persevering despite all odds and fighting injustices in the country and standing up against Pakistan's powerful military and political leadership, even from jail, make him an ideal candidate to become the chancellor of one of the world's best universities, the University of Oxford.